Hello, I am Aaron, and this is Cooking with Foreman. Today we have a very uh, important uh, episode dedicated to the one and only Shale Riley. Some of you know him from Captain S. Others uh, know him uh, from Shale Riley and the Double Ice Backfires. And others uh, might even know him from the Grammar Club or his solo work. Now, today we are making biscuits. We're going to try making pizza biscuits. Now this show isn't uh, to show you how it works, but to see whether or not we can. So, I have the uh, George Foreman here. I have the knife here. This is the two uh, things that we will be needing to use almost any of, the any of uh, the recipes that I am doing here. At least for the cooking part. Preparation might require us a little more, but we do not require that for today. So, we are going to start off by throwing a biscuit on the foreman. Mmm, look at that sizzle. Wow, this is very interesting. Now remember, safety first. And uh, for this side here, we do want to rotate often because it will take a while for it to cook in the middle. Let's make this adventurous. Let's put three on. Ah, uh, four. Here's to you, Mr. Riley. Now, notice how we are not closing the grill. This is uh, mostly so we can keep flipping it. Now, at one point it will look a bit done, I think. Remember, this is my first attempt with the biscuits. And we will be back. We are back, and as you can see, it's starting to brown. So, starting to rise nicely. Now, we are going to be making pizza biscuits for that. So, once again, we are going to need sauce. I'm using an Italian sausage, pepper, and onion sauce. And cheese. I'm using Tex-Mex cheese by Kraft. The true ingredients of any fine bachelor's cooking and recipes. Cameraman's not supposed to talk. Cameraman has a damn point. As well, if we, uh, if you feel adventurous, Frank's Red Hot by Pizza Pizza. Now, as you can see, still cooking. We're uh, letting these two uh, see whether or not uh, if we just let them rise, it works out better than if we uh, do flips uh, onto the side to uh, get a more thorough cook. A nice, even, toasty brown shade on all sides. And there we have it. We will be back when we are ready for prep. Oh, sorry. This, uh, I didn't see you there. I was just about to uh, have my lunch. Yeah. And now uh, for the prep. Oh, uh, it, it's quite easy. You take uh, the random sauce that you've uh, chosen, you put it on top, you spread out a little bit, and you uh, repeat this on all of them. If I had a larger grill, I would be uh, doing more of these, but sadly, I have a smaller grill. If you wish uh, to donate a large grill to me, please contact me in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> And just uh, continue, I'll make sure it's nice and even. Don't worry if a little bit gets on the grill. That sizzle was a good sound. That's why it's forming, baby. It's easy cleanup. Exactly. And now, for the cheese. Depends how much cheese you want. I like a lot of cheese. How does my camera girl like her cheese? Dangerously cheesy. 
Once again, don't worry whether or not you get someone on the grill. Easy clean up. As long as someone else is cleaning up. Besides, we're going to have a little bit of cheese on the grill anyways. Now, we close just a little bit. More or less, just hold it like this to bake it. Now, as you can see, it broils the front uh, back to, but not the front to. So we do have to rotate. Great thing about that extra cheese on the bottom, hmm. easier to rotate. This is where you... And to burn yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just a tip. You might want to use an actual spatula instead of a knife. However, whatever suits your fancy works here. Now I am a trained professional at George Foreman Cooking. I know how to use a knife. Especially in dark alleys. Right, Aaron? You're not supposed to know about that. Another thing you might want to consider is an oven mitt. There's one to the left of you. Right of you. Left. Whatever it is. Can you pass it to me, assistant slash camera girl? Only reason why I recommend this... Anything for you, Bob. Only reason why I recommend this is the grill does get warm. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, it is just about done. Let's do another uh, quick test. Mm-mm, toasty. Alright, this looks good. Now remember, always unplug the foreman. And now for, uh, now for the trial. See, this amazingly rose quite well. It's uh, nice and doughy. Well, not doughy. It's actually cooked. I'm not entirely sure how this one turns out. If but apparently sure. just as well. Now it's time to try them out. Bon appetit. Well... This is definitely in the you can do it uh, pin.